Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the Lazy Boy three position footrest feature. We're going to check out what it is, how it works, and how to fix it if it stops working. So stay tuned. Okay. Well, if you own a Lazy Boy recliner, there's a very good chance that you have a three position footrest. Not all the Lazy Boys have them, but the majority of those that come to my shop certainly do, so there's a good chance yours does as well. And it's really simple. It simply means there are three positions that the footrest will lock out for you. If you open it just a little bit, there we go, it'll lock out about one quarter to one third open. Go a little bit further, and it'll do the same at about half to two thirds. And of course, with the handle all the way up, it fully extends, giving you three positions. Now, the only thing that you really have to remember as far as how to use this properly is that once you go past that first notch and it locks out, you cannot close the footrest from there. You have to go all the way up to release it and then it'll close. And that's pretty much it as far as how to use it properly. That's it. It's pretty simple. And if you saw my other video about the back tilt feature that's also on a Lazy Boy chair, you'll know that you'll have a lot of different positions you can achieve for comfort in these chairs. So in the next segment, we'll take a look at what to do when it stops working, how to fix it. That's coming right up. If your recliner becomes difficult to open and close, or if it hangs up from time to time and gets stuck, there's a good chance that you need to replace your three position locks. It's the part that controls the three position footrest feature. So turn, turn your chair over and have a look underneath. First check to see if the scissors are bent or broken or any of the other parts along the drive rod. If you cannot find anything that appears to be wrong, there's a good chance that your three position clips have just seen better days. And this is the clip on this side. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. There's a little tab here. I'm going to lift that off. That releases it, and now it comes off. Now these are plastic parts. I'm not a big fan of plastic parts on metal mechanisms, but in this case, these are really convenient and easy to replace for most people, and they seem to be pretty durable, so it's not a bad trade-off. And when these wear a little too much, you'll see here in the steps, I don't know if you can see that, the steps will become gouged or worn, and that means that this lock needs to be replaced. So it attaches to this part here that's called a rear swing. I'm going to show you one up here close. And this is the hole where the three position lock fits in. So when you install these, you simply have to remember from the inside of the chair to the outside, that's the way it gets installed into the slot. And once you have that in, lift the tab in the back here to hold it in place. And that's what it looks like installed the little tab in place here and here. Okay, so let's go put this back on the chair. And we'll take a look at the other side. Here we are on the opposite side and as you can see it's the same type of clip on the other scissor it's the same principle basically but here we do have a part that's very close and adjacent to where we're working this is a toggle with a tension spring what you can do at this front end here is you can slide the spring over a little bit a little bit of slack to try to give you just a little bit more space to work with so we'll do the same thing here we'll pull this bottom off this little tab And then the clip will come off. As I said, it's a little trickier in between tight quarters here. And there we have the clip off. So we'll put it back on. And there we are. Now we'll put our spring back in place. There, we're all set. Okay, a couple of final tips. If you need a set of three position locks, go to your local Lazy Boy dealer and pick up a set. 
This latest design is actually more robust than the gray ones you saw in the video, which means it's stiffer. So if you don't have the hand strength to clip these on and off, you'll have to use a pair of pliers to help you. And finally, if you do have this type of rear swing on your Lazy Boy chair with this cutout, but it's not a three position, uh, it doesn't have the three position footrest feature, you can buy a set of clips and install them. It will work. Also, if you've got the older metal setup, but that's worn out and not working anymore, you can disconnect that, and as long as you still have this cutout, you can just get a set of the plastic clips and install them. Much less time consuming and a lot easier. So that's it for this time. We'll see you next time.